All right, so uh, what I'm I'm doing here today uh, is <clears throat> gonna get my light going here so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, we're here to review this. This is the uh, BT meter. Now, what's really interesting about this is that uh, the the box or the actually the the, uh, the listing on Amazon shows the item with a BT meter here. Uh, this says something completely different. And the box that it came in has a picture of the item with no branding on it at all. So something's going on there. You know, there's some factory making a bajillion of these and then everybody and their brother, they're white labeled and then you just slap your name on it and sell it for however much you want. If you Google this, you're gonna find it for sale uh, at various prices all over the place. Um, so there's, there's that. So let's take this thing apart and we're going to put it on the oscilloscope and we're going to see how accurate the timing really is. I think we're going to be uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, this is a pretty cool little thing. I mean, really, really um, pretty happy with it so far. There's one screw. There's These are Phillips screws. I got a number one Phillips screwdriver going in here. Um, real simple disassembly. What I like about this, I've already had it apart, um, is that you're going to be able to replace the batteries if you're handy. Um, so when you get this thing apart, that's how it is right there. Um, up here you have your connection for the uh, LED array, and here you have uh, just a connector for the battery. So you'll be able to take that out, it's not soldered into the board. Um, I do think they've got either a, uh, a thermal sensor in here, maybe a thermal fuse, um, and very likely uh, a cell balancing circuit. So for, that's for charging. It's a safety feature, uh, I will grant you that, but it's not 100% necessary. So if you were to make your own pack and put two 18650s in here. Uh, another thing, I think that the uh, the listing says it's 2200 milliamp hours. Um, that is not true. This is 2000 milliamp hours. I don't know if the phone will show that to you, but that's 2000, not 2200. So. You got about 10% um, <laughs> 10 fudge factor on that one. Um, this is pretty decent circuitry in here. Um, we could talk about that, but uh, I think that would be a little bit too technical for the audience. Uh, what I am going to do is I am going to put it on the scope. Some people might like to actually see that, even if they don't quite understand what they're looking at. Um, but it will verify the accuracy of the timing circuit circuits to see what we do. Also, we should be able to see the waveform that they're sending to the LEDs. Um, we're at 1800 RPM. Uh, this is 30 hertz. The scope says 30 hertz. Look at that. Pretty good. There's our waveform. That's what we're getting uh, when we take a look at it on the scope. Um, if I crank this thing up to say, uh, let's just go all the way up to like 100 hertz. Let's see what we got here. 125, let's go 125, there we are, it's 125, and let's uh, increase the horizontal sweep rate here, take a look at our waveform, there it is, that's our waveform right there, We're starting to get in some ringing on there, just a little bit you can see, um, let's crank this up to 500, something like that. I did I did trim the, uh, the outside bottom edge of this dial so that it doesn't rub against the case anymore. That way I can move it with my finger. It doesn't work very well as a jog wheel. If I try to put my finger in that little jog wheel dimple, it doesn't, you know. What I'm doing when I'm really operating this is I'm using my thumb, but now I've got it so that it goes, you know, pretty smoothly. Uh, notice also that when you, when, you, when you do one detent at a time, it doesn't change the display. It... it, it it changes it every other detent. Yep. So let's go up to 500. You get 500 on here, yeah. All right, there's 500. 500, scope says 500. Let's uh, turn up our sweep right here. And now we start to see see the radius on that on the radi on the waveform on the leading edge of the waveform there. 
yep that radius right there and then uh, we definitely get some ringing now at 500 Hertz which would be roughly 50,000 rpm I'm guessing 30,000 rpm okay didn't do the math in my head okay so let's let's run up to uh, let's run up to 99,999 rpm shall we it takes a while to get there that's why I wish they would have this um, this actually move every time you move this one detent it would be really nice um, that way it would go twice as quick when you're trying to trying to move it up here so we're at about we're at about 60,000 here which would be uh, hey there we go one kilohertz there we go look at that and now you really see a knee a, a real starting to bend that radius on that leading edge of that waveform um, and I have no idea I mean at, at 100 or I'm sorry at 1 kilohertz would you and the phone doesn't even notice that it's, it's flashing and I have no idea if you would even be able to stop something at 60,000 <laughs> rpm um, let's go up here we'll just keep going all the way up to it's well, that's the brightness so that works very well um, let's go all the way up to 100,000 now, I did have this thing all the way up to, geez, I think I was at like 2 kilohertz, which was some, I have no idea what the RPM on that would have been, but, um, so it's a pretty, pretty cool signal generator on the bottom of this thing, um, just in terms of 90, oh, we're up to 100,000, let's see, what's the frequency for 100,000, 166666, right there. Perfect. I am duly pleased with uh, the accuracy of the uh, time base in the in the stroboscope. I think it's perfectly fine. We'll turn this up a little bit and give ourselves a little bit of a peek at that that waveform. Yeah, it's just starting to to decrease here a little bit um, there, but you can really see the radius on it and all the ringing we're getting now. Um, I'm colorizing this on purpose. Uh, if I take the colorization off of here, uh, let's see here. Let me turn that off. Yeah, I'll color grade off. So that's what you would normally see. That's your that's your waveform there. Not too shabby, all things considered. And this would be once again 100,000 RPM. Anything that's uh, spinning at 100,000 RPM in my world is a safety hazard. <laughs> so uh, I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm happy with this. This is this is kind of fun. It's a pretty cool little device. Okay, we're here to show the uh, stroboscope in use, and you can see I put a, a black mark um, on here, just at one spot. And hopefully we'll see that black mark. I'm not sure that'll work, but we'll turn it on here. It's at about a thousand thousand RPM on the built-in tack, maybe a thousand ten. So we'll turn this into about a thousand here on the stroboscope. There we go. There we are. Let's see where we get with this. Uh, I'm gonna dial it in now. I don't think the phone's picking this up very well. Yeah, it's starting to slow it down. I think it's in order. There we go. Looks looking pretty good. Nah, she's starting to creep the other way now. There we go. Alright, it's not steady, but there we go. About 1031, 1032. Pretty good there. Um not sure that the phone is actually picking this up it's creeping on me a little bit here so I'm gonna try to adjust it down like closer to 1030 now maybe 1031 all right so there we are we're at 1031 we're at 1000 maybe 1010 this is only good to within 10 rpm so I don't think it's too bad it's not that far off uh, now I'm gonna look for my mark and I'm going to use this button here, and I literally hold that button down, and you can see that you can see the uh, there we are. Let's see if I can see my mark. 
There's my mark. There, I see my mark now. Bring my mark around here. There's my mark. There it is, right there. I don't know if you can see that or not on the phone. The phone probably doesn't pick it up very well. But this is what you use it for. There you go.